kiss in the end, that's probably why we all go fishing. G'day folks, and thank you for tuning the dial to Rex Hunt Fishing Adventures. Isn't that what it's all about, folks? Young Ben fishing off a jetty in the hope that a fish might take his lure. That's what it's all about. Now, also what it's all about, folks, are your inquiries. A lot of questions, but the common denominator in many of these emails of yours is where can I go fishing with my family? Folks, there are hundreds of places. There are literally thousands of places in the world. But my producer, Bob Grieve, and I sat down and burned the midnight oil and came up with Rexy's top 10 places over the last 12 years. This is a very good hole, folks. You can see where Harry's just come out of. Very smooth, very smooth. Gee whiz, something grabbed that then. Very, very smooth water, and have a look at that rod. I tell you what, we might be in with a little bit of a show here. I've hooked a beautiful Australian. Oh, and he came out of the water. It's no good going out there, Harry, because I think he's gone down now, and this is a very good fish. So now we settle down into fighting the fish. It's yibbity yibbity time here, kids, because what we've done is we've worked so hard We've come through all of the sand dunes with the Nissans and got bogged and we had to push it out. We're gonna make it count because when you go fishing, you gotta catch a fish. Now this fish is a beauty. I haven't seen him. I saw him as a little speck when he jumped out, but I think now we can start to walk back. We've got a very, very good salmon here, Shane. I tell you what, mate, you might just come in here and give okay. us a bit of commentary because look at the size of him. That's a good salmon. Now that's a fair salmon. That's a seven, eight pounder. That's a beautiful fish, Rex. That's about seven pound of Arapus trutter esper. Australian salmon. I tell you what, folks, I've kissed a lot of fish in my time. I think I love you. No, I don't. No, 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 no. Take that back, folks. Take, take that back. <laughs> now that is a very serious fish. Shane, if you'd be good enough to hang on to that. He's about seven, seven and a half pound. Ooh. Is he really? Yep. Well, we give him three kilo. Oh, plus, plus. That plus. is by far the biggest salmon I've ever got. <laughs> I'm actually down on my knees to pick up the fish, not you, mate. <laughs> that oh, is what they call it. a blackback salmon. What a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. I tell you what, I've caught big mulloway, big tuna, marlin. I've caught the lot. And that's up there, right at the top of the tree, folks. Come on, let's get him back in the water. Let's just show the people of Australia who want to take too many of these beautiful fish just what conservation is all about. Because you know what? There's a possibility that one of you kids out there might catch this fish. And when people ring up and write to me and say, why do you kiss fish and let them go? That's why I do. Because these magnificent creatures are too good to catch once. Off you go, mate. Just turn over the seas that way. And away he goes. Ian, what's happened, Rex? Well, we're going to just see how good this little quiver tip line is. So like, I tell you what, the varnish on the rod's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> My God, I that's a whiting. <laughs> I'm here to give it a real go, this little quiver tip, folks. But I tell you what, we're going to be here for quite some time because 140 something feet <laughs> has got to, well, come between me and the whiting. But look, being quite serious, a lot of people think that this is an underkill. I reckon minimum six kilo gear here. But still, with three kilo, st kilo stuff, if you take your time, well, you're going to be in with a show. I'll tell you what, by the feel of my arm, I'm going to have to give that a bit of a rest. It's the first time I've had to change arms in years, Ian. Look at Would that. Would you like a cup of tea, Rex? No, I tell you what, I'll get one in a minute. Don't worry about <laughs> that. Isn't this just fantastic? Lifting and winding. Now, Rex, these are not normal school fish, are they? They're, you can liken them to grumpy old men, don't you, Rex? Well, you can. Look at the size Look of this. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Gee whiz. That is a serious King George whiting, isn't it? An absolutely serious King George whiting. But when you come to think of it... Wow. I don't reckon he's a kilo. No, he's, what, eight? 800 grams? 
Oh, I don't know, but I tell you what, beautiful big lips. But still, we did something that they reckon we couldn't do here. They reckon the old bearded burbler with these Victorian sort of uh, fishing gear couldn't do it. There's the goods. Fantastic, folks. Not throwing this one back, back folks, because this is real good eating material. I think we'll give that one a little bit of a fry tonight. <laughs> we will fry at 0300 hours. Fry by much. points. We don't get this down with, no, the, we don't. with the rubber twins down at Porty, do we? <laughs> no, I'll tell we you don't. what. Mate. <laughs> These, these are, are good fish, aren't they? These are this could very, be. very good whiting. These are very, very good whiting. This could be what? You this, said? Well, like, this, could be our, <laughs> this could be our lucky day. We might get a fish around a kilo today. Oh, well, who yeah, cares? cares? Exactly. Beautiful size fish, aren't they? Oh, oh Daniel, what are you? What, what about that? Come and declare it, Ian. What do you think? I think it might be a kilo. What do you reckon, boys? No, no, no sorry. Not giving it no, a kilo. Okay. 8.50, we'll see what this is. This could be 8.50. Well, I hope it's 8.51. How'd you like a bloke with a head like that beating you, folks? I tell you what, Ian. I tell you what. Oh, tell you what, look at this. They are big King they George. Are, look at the size they are, Look at these. these. These are big King George oh, whiting. I have never seen anything like this. But I tell you what, I've never seen anything like it. Now you can know how big a two-pound whiting is because they reckon that that's not a kilo. Well, sorry about the water on the lens there, folks, but I tell you what, another kisser because the old Aggie pipe in there is going to cook for us tonight. I tell you what, we're going to cook up a storm. Fabulous. It's, they are big fish, but you can see how people can be lured in to the false sense of security by saying, you'd actually declare that two pound. You would. But yeah. we've got the measure brothers here, and they reckon it's not. Thank you very much. We're still going to try. <laughs> we're still the old well, King the George, old King George Whiting twins. Twins. But I tell you what, we're having a great time. Are we what? Let me lunch to start, but let me know that uh, things are very nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> South Australia is the home of King George Whiting. <laughs> it's actually ruined me and you for Port Sea. It has completely. In Melbourne's Port Phillip Bay, where we might get one of those every three or four years, folks. And we must be very, very close to start. Look at this, oh, it's a big trevally. Look at that. A beautiful big trevally. Now that is a serious fish and behind it is a, uh, well, he's gone now anyhow. But you had a look at him. And folks, what a fight. I tell you what, <laughs> do these yakkers really put up a fight in South Australia? <laughs> they talk about the South Australian whiting. <laughs> what about these mighty midgets? Only Trevally, is it, or what? Trevally? Whiting. It's <laughs> the sort of this Ian. <laughs> what is it? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that's, an, that's a kilo. <laughs> Look at the size oh, of that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that, folks. I tell you what, <laughs> the four whiting I got to wear over the other day would actually fit into this fish. Now, that... Can we just say that that is a genuine kilo fish? Yes. John, I'd like to compliment you on your summer. It, oh, <laughs> gee, did you see that? Unbelievable. Gee, did he hit that? Didn't he? Hit it right close to the boat. Right close to the boat. I'll have to get down the back here. Oh. Jeez, he slammed that, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, didn't he? What? Didn't he? What? I just want to bring him underneath Ooh. that transducer. What have we got here? Be a lovely brown. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, pretty little fish. Oh, just a little fish, a little but it didn't matter. Look, yeah, look at that. And away we go. Magnificent. Oh, yeah, oh, they're good to catch. And that little lure. Have a look at that little lure. Like, I, I can remember a couple of years ago coming down here and you laughed at me with that lure. Tina That's... Turner's earrings. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little Vibrax... Uh, Coloured, probably not unlike a trout egg, although this is the wrong time of the year. But you know, trolling or spinning with lures, it's not just a game of chance and hope. You've still got to work your areas. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful oh, fish. Oh, yes. Oh, not a bad fish either, Rex. Not a bad fish umpire. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? And such a lovely day out here on the reef. Oh, it is nice, isn't it? 
Do you have a tire of this, do you? Not really. This is my office out here. You know that, don't you? But say, you, <laughs> if you have a day without a client, you still go out. You're like me. It's uh, it's just in the blood. This is a disease, this fishing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's a fun. great disease for sure. Nice this, trout. This is a beautiful trout. This is a beautiful trout. Make no mistake Ooh, about this. Look at that. He's I might just let him finish off there before I dip the old, the old net with him, mate, because this is where you can lose him, folks. You've got to let him have a bit of a dive, and, and when he lays on his side, that's the time that he's going to be spent, and that's the time to sort of just bring the fish to the net and come up and just like that. Beautifully done. So that is a very, very nice brown trout. And drift spinning, this is new to me, but I reckon it's a great thing because you cover so much ground John. Absolutely yes. Yeah. We're drifting along there's quite a bit of wind so every cast we make it comes through a new a new track. Oh yes sirree yes sirree Yes, sir, that's my baby. No, sir, I don't think maybe. Yes, sir. Aha! That's my baby now. By the way. Well, Rachel, you on another one. Strap me in. Because the fight is just beginning. Hang on. That doesn't rhyme, <laughs> either, Jim. It's Hang good on. to see you getting a bald man's haircut for a while. Good on you, mate. I am a nightmare, mate. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of here. Get, here. <laughs> get away from me. You get it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm all right, mate. He's under control. Mate, they don't have this much fun in the cemetery. <laughs> Ooh, mate. A little bit more pressure. Just a little bit more pressure, folks. Go to the gym, pump a bit of iron and work out. Be a macho man, eh? Just show though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Bad weather brings bluefin. You know, big seas, grey skies. Same in Tasmania. Yeah, but my philosophy is bad weather brings Jimmy Allen. You want some bad weather? <laughs> you bring Jimmy Allen with you. Get yeah, you, you get back to snoring. Another good like fish. Outfit, yeah, you know? oh yeah. Here comes a swivel. Here comes a swivel. Not far now. Yeah, got yeah, another bluefin, do you think? Well let Rick get in there, they'll trace man and have a bit of a look. Get this uh, get this up. Coming up now with the doubles well and truly on the line. Trace man's got it. Got there, Rick. Oh, the blue fin. Nice See, that's a nice up. fish, isn't it? It is a nice fish. Put the tag in his back oh, there. Boy. Lovely. How's he hooked there, Rick? Good. Pretty good. Okay. We'll just swing him on board now, uh, Rick. Okay, so mate. We can uh, take the hook out of him. Another nice. Oh, there he goes. Another nice fish, though. Another lovely blue fin. Well, that's say just trying to take the hook out of him anyway, yeah, Rick. He does too. Now, of course, ladies are first on this show, and I'll give you the honour on the first tee of throwing the first popper in, Lisa. Thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> from Southwest Rocks, off a handicap of three, that's me and the crew, Lisa One Tuck. Let's get you there. And Rexy comes in with one on the side. That's it. Oh, Lisa, you nearly got cleaned up, Lisa, you got him! Look at the kingfish here! Oh, woo-hoo! He's mad!
smash that really close to the boat, Rex, and he's not going to stop. And they... Oh, gee, I tell you what, doesn't come any better than that, Lee. Wow-wee! Keep my surface popper going to see if we can get a double hook up, but I tell you what, you concentrate on that. It's certainly down there. <laughs> <laughs> there must have been a pack of 50 kingfish on that. These Big are the wish. only fish, the more you give them, the more they give back to you, I reckon. <laughs> They're maniacs. They are maniacs. Their name must be Hunt. Well, I think what I might do, seeing I haven't been knocked off, folks, is just give it away and put my rod down and concentrate on the fish because a fish in the sea is worth two in the boat or something like that. Now, your dad and mum have taught you how to angle. You, yeah, you, a yeah. Lot, a lot of kids, just all they want to do is pull, but you understand the term of angling, don't you? Yeah. They give back plenty, as you they said earlier on. They certainly do. Don't they give plenty? Here he comes. Hang on again. He's a ripper. You want to do the... Um, I do. The honours for him. If I can... If I can get him in the net, I will. Right. I'm going over, folks. I'm going to walk on water. <laughs> Watch, he's hooked on the I'm, net. He's hooked on the net. So what we have to do is we have to, to make him play. No, we can't. And here we go. Oh, Lisa. I've got him. Yes. You got him that time, Rex. You need a hand to lift him up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry about your net. <sighs> Oh, I tell you what, Lisa, you have hit the absolute jackpot. That is a horse and three quarters. I don't think you'd get a better fish than that. For a young lady using 10 kilo line, I tell you what, I don't think it comes any better than that. Well. Let's see if we can untangle this magnificent looking beast. And, uh, oh, wacky do. I tell you what, I'll just get that, that hook out. I'm sure we're gonna take some photos of this before we pop it back. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, there it is. One popper. And folks, I can thoroughly make it recommend Laurie and Julie McAnally's bent butts on their game rods and bent nets. But look at this, Lisa. Oh, it's just a great thrill for you. Definitely is. Well, I tell you what. Certainly got a sore arm from it. I reckon that's not far off 15 kilo of the best yellow yellowtail kingfish that's going around, Lisa. Yeah. Just absolutely fantastic. Can you turn back yeah, we'll just pop him down here. And there's a bit of a current going, so he'll give a bit of a kick. No worries at all. Watch this bloke go. Bang. <laughs> oh, he's a bit bigger. Oh, oh look at the trevally. Oh, Gee Rex. Whiz. I tell you, I get a lure into that. Do you think? Do you think I should get a lure oh, into? Oh, I think so, Rex. Whiz. I'll keep the school with you. There's a shark here and he's uh -oh. coming in for the kill on this oh, barracuda. You got a barracuda? I got a barracuda. Oh, Ooh. and the shark is. <laughs> Talk about the Temple of Doom, Rexy boy. Where is that Noah? How you going, Your Honour? Oh, we're getting there. Good man. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Oh, oh. oh no. This is all happening here, folks. A bit of a barracuda. We've seen these before on the show. Big teeth they are. Big teethy monsters. I'm right there, Kim. I'll get this glove out and show the folks at home. His honour is going to be a few minutes. Don't worry about that. They're going to right. go into the chambers to get this one. Oh. That's it, Kevin. Oh, he's still got his mates with him, Rex, if you want to okay, give a... Well, I'll, I'll get rid of this bloke first. I'll get rid of this bloke first, Your Honour. Oh, off he goes. They never give in those GTs. So just explain to me that, that these fish will just follow this bloke around, will they? Yeah, they normally school them will hang around right right to up to the boat. And should they take uh, should you they take him down there? Just jig it, you mean? Yep. You should be able to pick up his bait. There's his mate under him now. Oh yeah. 
There he is. Oh, bang. You're on. <laughs> uh, I reckon we have to do a bit of macrame here, mate. A bit of what? Macrame. What? No, uh, thanks, mate. I'm happily married. <laughs> here we go. Uh, look at the size oh, of that. Oh, look at the silly he's mates with him. Look at the size of that. Look at that. Yeah, Kevin, you want to do the honours there, bloke? Look. Oh, look at his mates under him. Look at that. You could almost grab oh, his mate. Beautiful. There you are, Your Honour. <laughs> I'll give you that one for life, Your Honour. That's not bad, folks, eh? Yeah, uh, mine's just mate. past uh, <laughs> Catherine. Well, Kevin, better be honest. Ooh. Tell you what, he's uh, 25 pounds or so. Oh, he's got a bit of grunt here, Your Honour. How are you going there? Oh, I think I'll release this one, Rex. Uh, not the best of eating, but great fighters. <laughs> Gee, send him back to Mama. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> These are big thumpers, folks. These are big, big, big fish. Giant Trevally. I've got one of Neil Patrick's little Helco tremblers just underneath his gob there. And I tell you what, he's only about four kilo, that fish. There are things to watch for. Razor sharp edge along the tail. And be just aware of the flaying lure every time the fish gives a kick. Now, I tell you what, it's hard on men, it's hard on gear, and it's hard on fish. I'm sorry, mate, but I've got to get it out of you. I can tell you now, this is one of the magic areas that I've ever been to. Not a place for young players. You don't bring your sandcastle building equipment out here. You get a guide like young Kieran, and you keep one eye on the sea at all times. Let's see what happens there. Put it into the wash. Just on the edge, just on the edge of that white water. Something grabbed it just straight away. Oh, oh. thank your mother for the rabbits. Did he grab it? <laughs> I tell you what, that glare off that surf now, oh, that's better. I tell you what, this is a beautiful, beautiful snapper. Snapper? Look at him come in. Beautiful little snapper. Oh, look at that, folks. I tell you what, back home in Port Phillip Bay, you'd love to catch something like that. He swallowed that right down. He said, thank you very, very much. Well, isn't that a beautiful fish? Absolutely beautiful. He's taken that hook right down. So I'll just undo the knot. Just as simple as that and leave the hook in. And mate, it's your lucky day. Beautiful snapper. Back into the drink. And away he goes. This is great stuff. <laughs> oh, beautifully taken, my dear friend. You got one on there, Bushy? Good boy. Oh, he's going for it too. Oh, that fight hard around this turmoil around the rocks. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think he's caught up in the rocks. <laughs> oh, there he is. You've got a snapper, Rex. Yeah, Look at this, six pound snapper. <laughs> Folks, this is just absolute horse droppings, this is. Look at this. Oh, dear, my goodness gracious me, Mahatma. This is not like going down the Yarra for a brim, folks. Winning there, are we? Got him? <laughs> right. Now don't go in. Don't worry too much about this. Well, I'll pay the line out and you pull him up. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Jeez, that's awesome, isn't it? This is just awesome fishing. Have a look I've at never that. seen anything like this in my life. Now, mate, he's uh, he's not far off seven kilo, that mate. Oh. He is 13 and a half. He is 13 and a half. <laughs> 
the 14 pound of Taylor. I've got to speak to the bloke upstairs. They don't make them that big. How was that for a first run? <laughs> he really went, didn't he? Did he look at you or did he look at me? <laughs> hey, did you get a look at him? I did, he's a big shark. I'm going by the fin, maybe a hammerhead, but I wouldn't put money on it yet. Here, look at this! Oh, look at the size of that shark. Got rowdy yates here from Rawhide. <laughs> look at that. You bring him in, I'll rope him for you, Rex. Look at him up there. Look at oh, him. Oh, Look gee. at the size of him, It's a Rex. hammer, isn't it? He's a big hammer. Big hammer. He's going to take off in a minute, Rex. He's not ready for us yet, I don't think. Look at that shark. He's going to go, Rex. <laughs> you idiot. I didn't like the way he looked at me. <laughs> you idiot. I think I speak for 20 million people. You idiot. <laughs> Kids, you don't do this in the bath. He's a beautiful shark, isn't he? Isn't he lovely? He's looking at us, Rex. Keep him coming. That's beautiful, Rex. That's beautiful. <laughs> you idiot! You absolute idiot! <laughs> oh, you idiot! I got him, Rex! <laughs> I got him! <laughs> you fool! I got him, Rex! Come on down! <laughs> Come on down! Hold on to this. Jaws. I got his tail. Easy. Cut the wire and we'll send him on his way. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. How are you going there, Stephen, with any wire right cutters? Now. See if you can cut through that wire. Oh, gee whiz, you beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh. Can you get through it, mate? No, I can't. Ah, uh, here, these might do it better. Just a bit cautious of those teeth. I did it. Oh, beautiful. Well, there you are, folks. That's nature at its very, very best. You've got the eyes sticking out of his noggin here. <laughs> but this magnificent dorsal fin. I tell you what, mate. Don't do that with any kind of, kind of sharks, folks. <laughs> I tell you what. Water. Water. Isn't he just sensational? Let's get him back in the water. Watch yourself, Rex. He's ready to go. He's still caught up in that. That's it. On your way, mate. Now, on your way. This way. Come on, mate. Off you go. Off you go, pal. Off you go. Come on. Come on, mate. No, this way. You come with me. I'll show you the way. I'll lead you to the promised land. Part the sea. And yibbity yibbity, mate. You get on with it. Come on. You get on with it. Off you go, mate. You're free. You're free. He's all right. You're free, son. Look at that. Let's put it there. Welcome back, folks. I suppose you filled your faces with jaffers and had a cup of tea or paid a visit to the loo. Well, I'm still here. And I'm working hard for you, folks. I'm trying to get a look at what I believe 
will be the first time that I've caught a black dewfish on camera for you. I've caught them before at a place called Jesse River, across the way about 80 k's into Melville Island. But you really got to just take your time when these fish start to really start and bullock. But we should be able to get a bit of a look at this fella pretty, pretty soon, Harry, but I th still think he's got a little bit to do. He's, uh, he won't be far... Oh, look! <laughs> Unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. <laughs> Rexy boy, Rexy boy has done it again. Well, this is a great moment for me because this is a black dewfish. Just absolutely magnificent. Let me pat you, son. This is one of the great fish of the sea. One of the great fish of the sea. And what I can do is lift him up there for you, folks. Now, Jeffrey, what do you reckon he weighs, son? About uh, 15 kilos, Rex. About 30 pounds in the old star scale, folks. And what we're going to do is just cut that little bit of wire off. Now, that wire there, the plastic has come over the top of it, and he's finished. But this fish is going back because this guy, or this girl, I think it is, makes those little ones. I can tell you now, folks, I am an emotional sort of a fella, and why not? 40-pound barramundi, 40-pound GTs, 30-pound barracuda at Cape Don, three-inch trout in the Goulburn River, it doesn't matter. It's just an absolute pleasure on our marvellous planet to have something as beautiful as this. There you go, son or daughter. And what we'll do is we'll just lift her, her quietly into the water because you're going to be able to float away beautifully and swim for the old fella. Just get a little bit of the stress out of the system, get a little bit of a kick and a little bit of a kick. When the Rex Hunt team travels right across the nation filming for you people at home, particularly in the northern tropical areas, I like to cool off by a lovely swimming area. And what better blue water to get cool than something like this? But it pays to do a little bit of a check first, because by checking the depth with a northern bluefin tuna, you can almost feel the Jaws music start to come. Thump, 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 thump. These are black tip whaler sharks. And Henry, you've had too much. Give Boris a go. These come in from the reef areas of this magnificent Arafua Sea area, and they get into a feeding frenzy. So it does pay to check where you're going to swim first. You are just one big fellow, aren't you? You get, get away from there. Everyone else wants a bit of a go. I'm sharing it with everybody. Come on now, that's it. Come on, little man, come on. Uh, and uh, yibbity yibbity, one thing, folks, don't fall in. Uh, and if you do, check your insurance policy. Yeah! <laughs> and he won't let go. He won't let go. You'll find trouble swimming there, son. And they come down with 200 metres to go. And he's going to get over the line. And it's... Beetle bomb. Come up again, I reckon. Oh, gee whiz. That is another big barrel. That is okay. one heck of a beast that has inhaled another Nilsey. Working mullet up one of these side creeks. Mate, this is an absolute horse. An absolute horse-arama here. 
Oh, look at that fish. Look at that fish. He's going to jump again. Into the net. Oh, great jump. <laughs> oh, that is a fish. The guide can't even lift it in. <laughs> great fish. Oh, look at how that. How about that? But how, how big is he? Well, we've got lie detectors to weigh it in the net before she goes. Have you? Yeah. Well, she's got to go back in. You know yeah. that, folks. She's, she's 35 or 40 pound. It'll take two of us to lift her up and show you on national television the best fish in Australia. These are the best fish in Australia, bar none. Look at the, look at the breadth of her. Look, look how big a fish she is. And, oh, mate, let's not... Uh, Let's not muck around. I suppose I've got to get a shot for Modern Fishing magazine, Gary, but yep. gee whiz. But folks, I'm glad to have shared it with you. To have travelled the world and then to come to my own country and to see fish like this in their own environment and to see them and use the environment. Wow, what a crazy take that was. We're uh, hoping to show you some different species today. So we're using a bubble float with some chicken. So it's like a plastic float, keeps the chicken on the surface, cast it out, wham, it was gone. And uh, I think we're hooked up with a chow praia catfish would be my guess. And a good one at that. can't be sure, but it's not doing the typical head shake of an Arapama. He got a lot of line on us, a lot of line on me on the first run. These fish are a member of the catfish shark family. Whoa. Oh, we switched direction. Whoa. And they go to uh, over 60 kilo here at Exotic Fishing Thailand. It's changing directions just like a chow prior. Mike? Yeah, as I just met, uh, that's true, yep. Chow Praia catfish. It's called the dog eating catfish in, uh, by a lot of people in Thailand. There's even rumors that there's some, a few ponds in Bangkok that uh, if you ever wanted someone to disappear, you could have them disappear in these ponds. Beautiful day today. The sun is back, hopefully here to stay. Oh, nice fish. Uh-oh, I just saw some air bubbles. Let's hope it's not a, well, I don't care if it is an Arapama, but really would like to show you something different today. Lots of other surprises in the lake that it could be. I guess we'll, only time will tell. It's a strange fight. Eh? It's a big fish, whatever it is.
what else could it be? I mean, we have eight species that are over 100 pounds. Uh oh. Oh, I, I'm. I don't know. Gone again. Could be a big alligator gar, but doesn't feel like it. You can some, you get a special connection, a special feeling with alligator gar. It's usually hooked in the hard mouth. Could be arapama, no typical head shakes. Could be a wallagoo leary. We've got those to well over 60 kilo. Love to catch one of those again. Bonetna. That's why they call him catfish shark. Look at that fin on the back. Come on guys, net, yeah? Oh. I'm not making my job any easier. I don't think we could have asked for the, the fish to be more cooperative. We basically swam in the net and then jumped over the side. This time they'll get him for sure. Okay, we got him this time. Whoa, chow prior catfish, probably around uh, 35, 40 kilo, something like that. Beautiful fish on the bubble float uh, on chicken. Okay, so we got this beautiful chow prior catfish in the net. It's, uh, it's a healthy 40 kilo, that's for sure. It's got that beautiful, distinctive dorsal fin on the back, uh, characteristic of the, why they call it the shark catfish. And uh, like I said, we got this one on chicken, some nice spots on the fish. Like all the fish, we uh, get them in the cage, we give them oxygen, lift them briefly for a photo, spray them. We're going to spray this fish up now with uh, an iodine solution on the few hook marks and line marks before we let him go. What a beautiful fish, child prior catfish.